Hello everybody, welcome to the channel Crossing of Spiritual Streams. My name's Tandra and today we're doing our daily messages from Spirit. And we have three different decks for you to choose from to get your messages. We have Pile 1 with the Teramucha deck. We have Pile 2 with the Thelema deck. And we have Pile 3 with the Wizard's Tarot. Okay, so we have three different piles here. We also do our oracle spheres in each reading, so you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to. And these are timeless readings, so whenever you run across it and feel compelled to watch it, there should be a reading for you. All right, we're going to give you some time to reflect on your piles. It's best to go with your gut instinct with whichever pile is pulling you in the most. There will be timestamps in the description, and you can go directly to your pile. We'll see you there. Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the Teramucha deck, we're going to be getting your messages as well as doing your Oracle Spheres. So think of a question that you'd like to get an answer to. Remember, the answers are limited to yes or no answers, and so we want to make sure that that is what you do. All right, let's take a look at what Spirit has to say today. We got the Empress, we got the Nine of Cups. And the death card. Okay, you guys are getting ready to complete a cycle in your life. And you're getting ready to move on to um, a different uh, mode of your life, a different phase of your life. And the feeling I'm getting from this phase is comfort, uh, beauty and comfort. Uh, so maybe you, you guys have not been in the energy of having uh, very many beautiful things around you or, or being very comfortable. Maybe you've not lived um, in the best circumstances or environments, or maybe uh, you've had to scrimp and save, and maybe go after a few things in your life that, um, you know, to make things more comfortable for you. Maybe you've not had those things. Um, it's possible some of you are getting ready to like graduate, like from uh, school or some other things, and so you're getting ready to move on to. Um, a life that's full of a little bit more abundance, a little bit more uh, comforts, creature comforts, and so forth. But I feel like you guys are getting ready to move on. That uh, one phase of your life is now coming to a close, and you're getting ready to move forward. And that this new phase, like I said, the energies that are associated with it are more comfort and more beauty. So um, whatever is going to cause that to happen, I don't know what that is. Like I said, it's it's possible that you're graduating and you're going to get a job and you know be more you know financially stable that way. It's possible you're getting married um, and you're going to have a relationship that way. It's even possible you're getting a divorce and things are going to be better. Um, I don't know why that energy popped in there, but it did. So basically, there's a lot of different scenarios and not even just the ones I just mentioned there's a lot of other ones as well but basically the energy is is that you're moving on from one phase of your life to another and the new phase is going to include uh, a lot of beauty and comfort involved in it and so spirit just kind of wanted you to know that um, be prepared for an ending um, you might already be preparing for this or you might already know it's coming up I kind of get that energy that you guys have this feeling already uh, that this won't be a total surprise for you. It won't be necessarily a tower moment. It'll be more of, yeah, I knew I was moving on to something. I just didn't know what it was going to be like. And, and basically, um, Spirit is wanting to let you know that there will be a lot of beauty and um, comfort involved in this new phase. Okay? All right. So let's take a look at our Oracle Spheres. We have three different stands. We have bronze, blue, and gold. You pick um, a stand that you would like to get your answer on. 
you think of a yes or no type of question and we'll go out and look at the answers. Number one, bronze is not likely. Number two, blue is a probable. And a number three, gold is a not now. So we have a not likely, a probable, and a not now. So there's your Oracle's Fair answers for today's reading. Thank you so much for being here. We look forward to seeing you again. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the Thelema deck here. We also have your Oracle Spheres that we're going to be doing here in just a moment. So let's just see what Spirit has to say today. Oh, they need to shuffle much today. All right. Let's see what we've got. We've got the Six of Pentacles. We got the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords. Okay, wow, this message is, wow, very similar to one from yesterday. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm, it's basically the same message as one of the piles from yesterday. Um, sometimes they change up slightly, but the main overall message is similar. But in this case, the message is almost exactly um, the same. You guys are getting ready to have a breakthrough. Um, you guys are getting ready to, um, it, it's probably related to your, um, psychological well-being. Uh, but somehow or another, you guys are getting ready to either change how you think or, somehow or another something is going to take place that is going to cause a breakthrough in your um, psychological state how you think about things how you worry about things how you do things and this breakthrough is going to cause you to feel freedom and release and um, it's going to make you feel uh, like basic, more in balance, like you have the answers, like, you know, you have, um, what it, what it takes to, um, be happy, move forward, uh, feel better about your life. Um, maybe even to the point of helping others, um, uh, because, you know, basically I, I get the word epiphany. Basically something is going to cause you to look at, your life, the world, your situation in such a way that you can um, feel a sense of freedom and release, okay? Uh, that you're not going to feel trapped anymore. You're not going to feel uh, stuck. You're not going to feel um, bogged down. Uh, you're you're going to feel a lot more free and, and, and joyous in uh, so forth. So that's basically the message uh, for today. Uh, let's look at your Oracle Spheres. You have three different stands. You have bronze, blue, and gold. You decide which stand you'd like to get your answers on, and we'll go and we'll get your answers. Number one, bronze is a not sure. Number two, blue is a probable. And number three, gold is a not likely. So there's your oracles for answers for today. Thank you so much for being here for the reading. And we look forward to seeing you again. May the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your daily messages from Spirit. Those of you that chose the Wizard's Tarot, we're going to be getting your uh, messages here. We're also um, going to be doing your Oracle Spheres. So you can be thinking of a yes or no question that you would like to get an answer to, and we will go out and we'll get those answers. All right. Let's see what Spirit has to say today. 
We have the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, I'm trying to think of how I want to put this message. Um, you guys are, wow, <laughs> let me think of how I want to put this. Um, okay, basically, you guys have gone through some pretty rough times of it. Uh, you, you, you've had some emotional uh, upheavals and ups and downs and heartaches and so forth. You've also had possibly some physical ones. You've had um, some other things like that where you have been um, dealing with some some stuff. Okay, uh, the energy I'm getting is some very heaviness, some very heavy type of things. And what Spirit wants you to know is that you have been able to take that knowledge and that information that you've gained from these experiences and you have been able to um, basically, no other better way to put it, you have been able to um, channel it into your spiritual energy, okay? Uh, I've not ever had a message like this before. I think that's why I'm having a little trouble uh, getting it out there. Basically, what you have gone through on this plane of existence, okay, in your life so far, what the things that you've been dealing with, the things that have been happening for you, you've been able to channel that energy and focus it into your spiritual uh, knowledge, your connection with spirit, your ability to... Um, channel spirit okay it's almost been a way of because you have been cut to the bone so to speak because you have really uh you know just been been been, been sheared down it it made your connection with spirit stronger it uh, cut away some of the um, barriers that sometimes are brought up in relation to that. And so because of that, what Spirit wants you to know, basically, is that you have some very, very strong, intuitive, empathic, um, possibly clairvoyant, clairaudient, clairsentient abilities that you can now tap into and use them uh, to help others, uh, help yourself, uh, help you move forward. That, that, and, and they wanted you to know that because uh, these kind of things sometimes kind of stay hidden. They kind of stay uh, below the surface. We may not realize them. We may not see them. And they want you to know that this has happened because it is your, part of your destiny to be able to utilize these powers uh, in your life. Uh, from now on for others and for yourself um, and so forth. Wow, that is a really heavy message. <laughs> that usually doesn't happen in these daily readings, but there you go. It's something that you needed to, to hear, and so there we got it. All right, we have three different stands here for you to choose from. Basically, you think of a yes or no question that you'd like to get an answer to, and then you pick a stand. We've got bronze, gold, and blue today. Um, you think of your question, and we'll go out and we'll get your answers. Okay, number one bronze is a yes. Number two gold is a probable.
And number three, blue, is a no. All right, so we have a yes, a probable, and a no. So there's your oracles for your answers. Whew. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here for the reading. We look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.